Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be removing the electric radiator fan on our 2015 Yukon Denali. And just remember, you want it to cool down before you work on it. We're going to start by taking our 10 millimeter socket, and it helps with an extension, and we're going to go after the negative battery terminal. We want to remove this because we will be dealing with some electrical connectors, and you can short some things out. Next we're going to take a flat screwdriver and we're going to loosen up the clamp here for our air box. So we'll take that one off. There are some vacuum lines as well that you just push up on the tab and slide away from. We're going to take the one off on the driver's side and over on the passenger side. So just push down on that tab to release it. And we're also going to take off the clamp that goes to the throttle body here. So we'll just loosen this one up as well. And then we can slide this entire air box off and pull it out of the way. Now we're going to come in with uh, two of our uh, 10 millimeter bolts. I think they were just to take off our radiator uh, fan. So we're going to move that line out of the way. The, uh, the lower hose can just be pulled out. Here's our clips for the radiator fan. As you see, you push down on it and you slide these ones off. So they take a little uh, wiggling there, but uh, we're going to go ahead and remove one. Now it has the same plug on both sides, but one's reversed where you can't see it as well. We've got a, tr a Christmas tree plug here that we're removing to get it away from, get this harness away from the electric fan. We're just going to walk that out with a pair of pliers. Okay. Uh, we also have a Christmas tree plug for our two air conditioning line, heat uh, trans cooler lines. We'll bring our hose back in and it just pops back into place. We we'll take our electrical connections and they slide right back on. Just remember one's reversed uh, backwards. Uh, so just slide these on and push them up until they click. Now we're just replacing uh, these little clips anywhere that we pulled these out. Just put them back in. Next we'll reattach our air box, just bring it in and slide it back onto the throttle body and we're going to tighten it down here on that uh, little worm clamp here. We'll tighten down the worm clamp over here for this side of the intake as well. We'll reconnect our breather tubes just by pushing them forward and push them until they click. Now we'll reattach our negative ground cable for the battery and tighten it back down. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please check the video description. I have a playlist with a whole bunch of videos that I've done that are just like this. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys.